Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, with Phytoplankton Culture The Next Level. What makes this the next level is normally I have four one-gallon jars in each of these photo boxes. Now I'm using a 10-gallon aquarium. I just want to see if this process will work. This is my trial test. Of course, everything has to be multiplied by 10. Before, everything was done in a one-gallon jar. Now I have to use 10 times the amount. That means 10 times the amount of fertilizer, the part A and part B. So instead of 3 milliliters per gallon, I'm using 30 milliliters for a 10 gallon. I'm still using the Fritz fertilizer, which I have had no problem with, and I think I will continue to use it. It's inexpensive, easy to get, and seems to work really well. So typically I either put the salt water in or the fertilizer in first. For the sake of this video, I put the fertilizer in first. Now I'm going to be putting in 8.5 gallons of salt water. That is the equivalent of approximately 32.2 liters. This, like I said, is my trial. I want to see if a 10 gallon aquarium can grow the phytoplankton with the photo boxes I've been using. I know that you can grow phytoplankton in a mass scale and you can use 10 gallon aquariums, which I would not call mass, but you can use it usually with an under aquarium light. I didn't want to have to buy an under aquarium light or even build one, so I'm using the photo box that I have. This particular photo box is 24 by 24 by 24, so it's fairly large. The aquarium is set diagonally in there so that it has the most chance of getting light from every single angle. You may notice that the water looks green. That is actually the glass. Most aquariums built now have a low iron glass so that it looks crystal clear. 10 gallon aquariums, however, have higher iron content in the glass itself, therefore it has a green tint to it. Now I'll be adding the phytoplankton in. I'm adding a whole gallon of phytoplankton, equivalent of about 3.8 liters. Altogether, I'll have about 9.5 gallons of liquid in this tank, the equivalent of about 36 liters. And of course, I'll add some more salt water to top it off. In the reflection, you can see the air pump that I'm using. It has four valves on it, which I will be hooking up to this aquarium as well. Here's the lid that I built for this aquarium. It's just a piece of acrylic that I drilled some holes in and I put the valves in there and I glued them in place. There's also two larger holes to allow air to escape. Although I do have the valves in there, they will be open all the way to allow the maximum amount of air to flow through. I want this to look like a boiling pot of water. Getting in place here, you can see on the top, you might be able to see the small holes that I drilled towards the center and of course the four valves along the top. Now here are all the hoses in place and I'm about to turn it on and here we go and you got the bubbling going. I would have liked to use rigid airline on the inside but I did not have enough with me so I used the silicone airline. I will be checking up on this in a couple days and of course I will give you periodic updates. I have high hopes that this will work and that I can harvest 10 gallons at a time. That would make things a whole lot easier especially on the cleanup of one tank versus four jars. Thanks for watching you all and look out for some periodic updates.